check for advanced restart button it's available here i am putting into recovery using that if you don't have that press the volume button up and power button simultaneously in order to boot into recovery use the latest recovery i see many comments having problems while flashing any custom rom on poco x3 i made every video i made almost 99 percent i made flashing method initially in the video check out properly and flash the same thing and use the same recovery here once it's booted into recovery go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to install and select the micro sd card wherever you download rom zip files firmware first flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 global one flash the same firmware then only you will never get any problems and then again go to install and select the rom zip file this is the evolution x latest build for poco x3 let me get a little bit closer may 16 build you can see here and may security patch it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully and patching firmware is also done successfully after that go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here just yes and press this tick button done go to home section select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method simple just follow same method same rom zip file same firmware same twrp then only you will never face any problems it will boot into evolution x latest update as you can see in this video we'll be explaining everything regarding this rom in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video Hey, back again to new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. You can see here the Evolution X version 6.4 Omega for storage. It's an unofficial build. Maybe very soon we will be getting official build with 6.4 and Android security patch is May 5th, 2022. That's the latest available and kernel used here is 4.14.238. Dex K kernel has been used and Thursday build this is May 19 latest one build date May 16 or 19 whatever it is and Sync status is M4 Sync this is how the evolution X with Android version 12 I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and 11 seconds you can see here the max is 147 average 144 and minimum is 130 and there is no such CPU thermal throttling detected with this GIPS it's very good if I run lot more like one hour or two hours you might feel some throttling but as of now it's good and coming to dialer let me increase the volume and you can see the volume panel here dial pad there is a direct video call feature even the call recording is also available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is and this is the home screen and there are some home settings and up settings you can see here this is a pixel launcher used here widgets you can use all the android 12 widgets those are also working fine no problem regarding those things material use style designs coming into wallpapers and style there are plenty of wallpapers i mean all the android 12 wallpapers have been installed it takes time okay it have been loaded now it takes some time for some reason and this is how it is and there are some options here like into the papers there are plenty of wallpapers like themes or whatever it is you can download them but how to apply i did not got that into the settings dark theme wallpaper columns you can see here there are plenty of options here too this thing is available from first also just i am telling this many people know it some don't know for them i am telling this and coming to geekpen scores here in this room the performance is also good evolution x which is one of the gaming rom you can call but here scores are not that great in geekbench at least 505 single score and multi score is 1550 and kernel user is linux 4.14.238 dex cake kernel this was the kernel used in spark os also i think the same kernel is here maybe this evolution x came with 
none i don't know let me know in the comment section guys if you know that and enter to benchmark results here you can see 362203 and temperature raise was 1 degree celsius and battery drop is 2 percentage has been noticed during this android rotation it's very good power efficient and less battery draining and very good performance too that we will need not to forget evolution x is one of the gaming rom and safety net status you can see here it's get passed you can use all the payment applications like paytm phone pay gpay anything like here you can see here everything going to be working fine no problem regarding that and into the drm info it will also get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution. That's not the problem here. This is how the app drawer and this app suggestion. I will know thanks. And this is the quick settings one. You will see the data usage. That's how it is. And if it slides some more options and there is a edit section, there are a lot more options here. If you drag it, it will be get into the main quick settings panel and there is advanced restart button too it's smooth not laggy or anything like that it takes a little bit of time also once you set up and download all the apps it takes time to set as a smooth ui and there is a little bit animation lag as of now but it will get fixed once you will use it for a couple of days here you go into evolution success plenty of customization available just use this black theme and monet engine customization are again different and dark theme you can see here i can pack headline body fund signal i can five wi-fi i can style i can shape plenty of customization in theme section coming to status bar here also you can choose the clock style orientation and clock style and their traffic indicators and battery icon also you can change from here colorful battery icon also you can keep it in this particular room and even the logo you can see here, evolution x logo you can customize them left or right and even the style also these all the customization available even mic and camera privacy indicator you can enable or disable from yeah this is all the status bar customization notification customization vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here quick settings panel again here also media art media background artwork print of options battery estimation QV style required unlocking print of options are given power menu here advanced restart button you can enable or disable from where lock screen again here also a lot more customization are available media cover art filter and cover art if you enable them you will get further more customization and buttons shortcuts and buttons you get system navigation here into the gesture navigation into settings advanced gesture options you get plenty here you can choose the timeout swipe action and left and i mean right swipe actions from here not just that my important thing is the increase the fill length and the radius it should differentiate between the whole screen that it is having pill few roms give just a thin line which is embedded in the screen display what is that this kind of options should be there i recommend to have at least these options if they don't separate between the two then this option should be there in my opinion and three button navigation is given if you want to use that you can use this volume steps rocker wave keyboard cursor control those things you can customize from here in the miscellaneous settings this is very important unlimited photo storage in google you want that then enable it if you don't want just disable this and high lock high fps count in games if you want that just enable this and uh, unlock higher quality streams here also if you want that just enable or disable from here without with your liking usb configuration toast app i can show cpu information ignore windows secure flags and allow application down there these are the things available from here you need to customize them these are the customization available in evolution x latest version for poco x3 or nfc surya karna whatever it is based on android 12.1 now it is and coming into battery settings battery usage it is recorded one hour nine minutes it was around 96 percent 13 percentage has been dropped during this all testing and setup in that was i can say it's very normal nothing great or bad considering this is a very good performing rom 
Now coming into display here, there are options like dark image in pitch black condition, no doubt, because there was the option to have that and colors kept to natural. If you want, you can keep it boosted or saturated and adapted and the RGB strength also you can customize from live display, night light, ambient displays also given full screen apps. If certain app is not playing in full screen, you can force to full screen from here and minimum maximum refresh rate okay because of this i have facing some lag issue but now let's see maximum refresh rate is kept to 120 let's see how it handles in 120 hertz refresh rate and refresh rate per app is given lcd features display colors plenty of customization are available in this evolution even in display settings again and accessibility menu it's given it's an handy feature to have in android 12 based from without using volume buttons and without swiping the notification toggle you can access them using this accessibility menu it's a very good shortcut to have in your smartphone that's a very good software feature in my opinion system gestures i explained and security features you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock and there is no app lock here that's how it is let me show you the fingerprint unlock just tap it is taking a little bit of time see animation is fine but it is taking half a second to unlock your smartphone maybe in the next build they will update it and coming to face unlock now you can see it's very quick the face unlock is very quick here just fingerprint unlock is little bit slower but it will depend upon few updates i mean few builds here this build is not that great in terms of fingerprint scanner that are not a big difference that's how it is and law location settings google maps everything is working fine no problem regarding that let's see the bgmi gameplay how it handles and before that this is a camera application i always been speaking spoken about this are now build gcam if want you can use any other gcam ports which are you like like for few people some like only front facing camera is very important and few like astrophotography few like basic things just to forward to social media that depends upon you guys and rare camera few like and few like ultra wide angle especially because this one have 13 megapixel ultra wide in this budget segment even today there are no smartphone with that particular 12 megapixel if you agree that hit that like button and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and let's see the bgmi how it handles and what graphics setting this is how the bgmi I, I am okay i surpassed it let's see now i am a bit late to boot camp and graphic settings was enabled there but this is a bug i have noticed here i am not seeing smooth plus extreme or 90 fps i don't know why what's the problem there in the miscellaneous settings i have enabled i have seen in the video also but that is not enabled here there are already few people bootcamp i was late let's see will i get any kill or like that before that let me show the graphics as you can see it's just smooth plus ultra i don't know i have enabled 90 fps option there but this is what it is let's see whether it was bought loudness is too loud you can definitely have it as a gaming room but but what is the problem with that FPS enabling, I don't know.
it is smooth definitely the gameplay is smooth here okay i got it as you can see again i will cross check it once again you can see here just i unlocked this unlock high fps in games but it's not working in this particular rom maybe they forgot to add that let's see with other build the upcoming build they will add as you can see the graphics is just set to smooth plus ultra only smoothness is there but i can't judge it 60 fps it's 45 only 40 or 45 whatever it is but not 60 definitely i'll come back here and show you the charging animation in this particular rom 33 watt charger support is there or not let's see charging rapidly you can see here i will cover the selfie camera you can see here turbo charging hence you can use this 33 watt charging to charge your smartphone in this evolution x rom hope so this is very good rom continuing with same things but just they forget to add that bgms 60 fps actually and uh, these all the things of evolution x this latest version we'll see with another interesting video and this build how it will get evolved in next version let's see the official build definitely i will going to review each and every rom for poco x3 majority of the roms not each and every and uh, hope so few roms have problem like lineage sometimes it won't get flashable i don't know because of that i stopped doing its review i don't know when it will get fixed i will definitely make on that and that's all guys in this video we'll see with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now